a storm, the power has almost gone out like mm, four times. So I'm like hanging by a string right now, hoping that the power doesn't get cut off so that at least this lamp can illuminate me somewhat. But today's video is a makeup tutorial on the makeup I'm wearing right now. It was perfectly sunny when I started doing the tutorial, then halfway through it, it started to pour like a mother and like my power almost went out like I said and it was just, it's... <laughs> and I would have just stopped recording and would have filmed this tomorrow but I was already like doing my makeup and I was like they're my peeps, my subscribers are my peeps, they're not gonna care if it's a little dark they never do because I'm always complaining about it and you guys are really nice about it <laughs> huh? there was an epic lightning and I, and I was waiting for the thunder but there it is Anyway, I wanted to do a really deep smoky eye, like suitable for clubbing and stuff like that. But since it is summertime, I wanted to incorporate color as well. So it is very dark and dramatic and clubbish, but it's also colorful too. So it's not your basic like deep black silver look. It's kind of fun. It has like a twist to it. It's colorful. I like it. Anyway, if you want to see a tutorial on this makeup look, then you can go ahead and keep watching. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my eyes. I am using Urban Decay's Primer Potion and then I'm going to take a piece of scotch tape, put it on the back of my hand first and then put it right next to my eye to create like a sharp cat eye effect. I am taking my Urban Decay Naked Basics palette and I am taking the color called Naked 2 I believe it's called and I am just going to be applying this in my crease. Um, Buffing this color in, dipping my brush in little by little, and just building up that color. This is just going to work as a transition shade so that everything blends well. Then I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Black Bean. I'm going to put this all over my lid and then blend it out with my finger. For this tutorial, I am using the Urban Decay Electric Palette. I'm going to take the little brush that comes with the palette and I'm dipping it into the color Freak and I'm going to apply this to the inner part of my eye just focusing it mainly near the tear duct area. Then I'm going to take this color right here, it is called Fringe, it's a beautiful teal and on the other side of the brush I'm going to apply this to my entire lid and um, putting black as a base is really going to make this eyeshadow stand out, it's going to make it like a deep sea foam teal kind of color, I don't know, I really love how this looks right on top of black. So yeah, I'm just applying this to my whole lid right up to the crease. Then I'm going to take a fluffy brush with no additional product and I'm just going to start blending out those edges. Then I'm going to take a MAC 217 brush and dip it into Naked 2 from the Urban Decay Basics palette and I'm going to start blending this out even more. This is the type of look that does look kind of ugly and messy before it starts to look pretty but don't worry about it, just keep trucking and keep blending and it'll all turn out just fine. I'm going to take this one right here called Faint and I'm just going to blend some more. Like I said, this is a lot a lot of blending because the colors are so vibrant and pigmented you want to make sure you blend them out nicely. Then I'm going to go back into the fluffy brush and just blend out the harsh edges. And then because of all that blending, some of the color did go away obviously. So I'm just going to take that fringe color again and apply it to my entire lid. And then I'm going to do the same with the freak color. Now with my MAC 217, I'm actually dipping it into the color Fringe, which is the blue one we put on the entire lid, and I'm going to add some of this to my crease. And then a fluffy brush with no additional product, and just blending some more. Lots and lots of blending. To highlight, I am going to take the highlight shade in the Naked Basics palette and apply it underneath my brow bone and in my inner tear duct. I'm going to create a thin wing and I am using the Balm's Schwing Eyeliner and it's really good to use tape when it comes to doing a wing because it's foolproof and it's really really easy. The tape is going to act as a guideline so you just want to add a wing and even though it looks messy when you take the tape off it's nice and sharp. So I'm just going to add a thin little wing. Then I'm going to take my Maybelline Master Drama Eyeliner as always and I'm going to tight line with this. I'm 
I'm gonna take a flat shader brush and I'm gonna take the black and the Naked Basics palette and I'm gonna start packing this really, really close to the tape. I want it to be the darkest right at the edge of the tape. So I'm just gonna pack that color and then start dragging it towards the inner part of my eye so it's nice and faded. Add the color little by little so it's not too harsh. Then I'm just gonna take off the tape and you see it's nice and sharp. And with a wipey, I'm just gonna clean up any fallout. Moving on to my face, I'm using the Chafing Relief Powder Gel and I'm gonna use this as a primer. Yes, it is from Monostats, but it's silicone based and it's good for your pores and stuff. So that's what I'm using. For my foundation, I am using my L'Oreal True Match Foundation in N3 Natural Buff and my trusty handy dandy Real Techniques um, sponge. I keep forgetting what this is called. I think it's like a miracle complexion sponge. I'm not, I don't remember. But seriously guys, this sponge is amazing. If you don't own it already, I recommend it. It's very affordable. It's very comparable to the Beauty Blender and I love it. I'm going to move on to concealer and I am using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 15 Fair and I'm just going to apply this underneath my eyes to cover my dark circles and to highlight a little bit. I always do this step but you know, the usual. I'm not very careful when I do this, I just make sure that my under eye area is nice and concealed and highlighted and then I'm going to first blend it out with the sponge and then I'm going to further blend it out with my Real Techniques contour brush. To set it, I'm going to use my MAC Emphasize Powder and this is just going to set the concealer so that it does not crease. So moving on to the eyes again, I'm going to take my Maybelline Master Drama Eyeliner in Midnight Master and I'm going to use this on my waterline. Then I'm going to take this faint color again and I'm going to run this underneath my lower lash line all the way to my inner tear duct. And I'm sorry, it is really dark. This is when it started pouring like crazy. So again, I apologize. I'm going to add some mascara to my top and bottom lashes. This is the Clinique Lash Doubling Mascara. And then I'm going to apply my Red Cherry Lashes in 747M or... Yeah, 747M. I love these lashes. They're amazing. So yeah, then I'm going to smell my bronzer apparently. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. It smells like chocolate and it's really good. And I am just going to apply this all over my face, contouring a little bit, just bronzing up my face. Um, this bronzer is so pigmented that it, you can get pretty heavy pretty quickly, so just use a light hand with it. I am using my e.l.f. Complexion um, Brush, I believe that's what it's called. And then I'm just going to apply this to my neck and underneath my chin as well. For blush, I am using my NYX blush in the shade Mauve, and it's a nice mauve pinky color. It's really, really pretty, and it's light. For my highlight, I am using the Balms Mary Luminizer, and I am using my Sigma contour brush to apply this on my cheekbones. I'm also going to apply this to the bridge of my nose and on my cupid's bow as well. For my lips, I am using the NYX Butter Lipstick in the shade Fun Size and I am applying this to my lips and then I'm going to top it off with Buxom's Lip Gloss in White Russian. I love this combination, it gives it like a nice milky glossy pink. I really like it. So that is the end of this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye!